module. The first module or the first step will be how do we open the sequence. Just want to structure space here, and hopefully we are able to identify the there. Okay. So in a, in a real life patient, because would the fact that it is nice, push the filter in, push the filter in. don't damage any, but keep them. That gives us. The all you need, charge the start oscillation. This direction, clearly, don't remove any mucosa around it because you want to preserve the mucosa. This is for the functional phenodotomy, where you want to preserve the function of the sinus. That should give you the view in the sinus itself. That's the optical cavitical reset. That, that is module one. That's the first step. You want to do a function, functioning startup. Then, if you notice, we have not touched or damaged any. None of the mucosa is touched. It's what we want. And when you cut downwards, you just want to enlarge it downwards. Use a phase elevator so that you don't damage the artery. Preserve the mucosa current. Therefore, the joint function fall back. To now we go on the middle matrix itself. Here now, gate number one, the answer it. Right? Gate number two, pula. Gate number three, the ground lamella, where the middle tip turns laterally. Go attached laterally as you can. This is gate number two, yeah, ground lamella. You have a space behind the pula. So this becomes a, becomes a retro pula this side. If you have a space above the bulla, it becomes a super bulla. Okay? Simple, basic. So the first step you want to do is do an answer next. There are two ways of doing an answer next. Either we come from the front, an anti grade, or a retrograde. The answer next is like a boomerang. Comes from this rear portion, turns all the way down. This is the most important portion, the tail, because this is the one that covers maxillary osteo. The way I do it is, I do uh, anti-grade, so I use a fierce elevator, just touch the unsnake process, and, see, and it shows you exactly where it touches the lateral, touches here. I'm just going to insert my fierce elevator. Then, I'm going to go it all the way up all the way down this tail of the unsnake. So only tail of the unsnake to actually enter the See okay, guys? Same way you go up, stop at mid portion. So this is the tail that I was telling you about. Only hook unsnake tail. Your maxillary posterior is. The next step, what we want to do and cut the lower part of the unsinked, as well as the upper part of the unsinked. And this gives us the maxilla open. Now we have to after gate number one open. Can you see guys? Gate number one is open now. So now we have the maxilla that's exposed now. How large is the maxilla to be open? In most situa situations, this is more than adequate. You're going to this all if you need for the function tank. Do you need it to be larger, the fears elevator. Dissect down a little bit, flip it open directly, backwards. This is more than enough. The idea is not to touch the people ciliary clearance around it. Just make it. 
anteriorly, flip it open, the mucosic clearance is still intact. Okay? We will do a larger partial middle max leg and also a middle max leg for the next point. Next is go into the bulla. The bulla second gate. All we need is go into the bulla itself. Look for air cells. There we go. That's probably a retro bulla air cell. So now we are inside anterior adenoid. Retro bulla air cell, the anterior adenoid. The idea is to move both the heat that is required and preserve everything else. You do not strip any mucus from So far, guys, can you see how small the anterior adenoids gate number two has been removed? This is a super bulla air cell. Next is the ground lamella. Gate number one was the unsinate, gate number two was the bulla, gate number two, the ground lamella. Can you see how the middle turns laterally here? That's the ground lamella. A ground lamella got a vertical component and a horizontal. You want to preserve the horizontal component as much as possible because that gives you for the filter. What I do is I always go at a junction, middle to the vertical and the horizontal. That takes it straight. You note, I'm only a pierce element. So the anterior adenoids will have multiple small. Uh, Admoidal air cells, down 11. The posterior admoids will have much. So now we are inside the. Posture. Don't want to strip anything. We want to preserve the mucosa as much as possible. I'm using the. All the mucosa is back. Guys? So now in the posterior admoid. How do we confirm? That we are in the easiest way to do that is look for the so if we dissect here, we'll be able to identify that. See, so the minute you see the sphere turbinate here, you know that you have to be desperate to that. This sphere turbinate here. That's superior turbinate coming in. The minute, and that's a spinal ostia here, right? The minute you can see the superior turbinate, this has to be the posture. Okay? The next step is the anterior or, or the fourth gate, the anterior wall of the spinal sinus. Go inferior and medial. Now I've done a trans admoidal cardotomy. We do this not for function, but to approach the lateral wall of the spine. And you know, if in the spine, if you get the optical cavity, that's the optical. Okay, guys, that now, next step, move here and enlarge opening of the posterior wall. Okay, now, we remove. Unseen it. We've removed the unseen it as gate number one. We've removed the bulla. Unseen it, gate number one. The bulla, gate number two. Ground lamella, which is gate number two. And also the two. Unseen it, gate number one. The bulla, gate number two. The ground lamella, gate number three. The anterior wall, the spinal sinus, gate number four. But if you look at it, we have preserved the mucosas all over. Can you see? The mucosas, the mucosa is preserved everywhere. So the healing process will be very nice. This is how you want to do simple basic.
module for first. Any question for this? No? Frontal sinus. Now, how do we address front? I've not looked. I've not seen the scans yet, so I don't know whether the patient has got a frontal. Sinus. What I usually extend the head a little more. Now, remember, I kept the upper part of the ancillate intact. Remember? But this is very important because it helps you to find your frontal sinus. There's always a vertical shelf of bone that goes between the frontal sinus and the bulla. Okay? And the frontal sinus always medial unless the ancillate process goes towards the turbinate. It's always what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to put my zero degree scope on the floor and I'm going to look up. The frontal is up here. That's most likely a frontal side. That will be the next module. So, so this again, the upper part of the unscape, that's the bulla, your frontal side always between unsinate and vertical and look up to be able to identify there we go this is just the basic of the That's frontal sinus there. Guys, can you see? So I'm still using a zero degree scope. That's draft one. And, and you can see how I've preserved everything. That's the ancillate process that I repo. The frontal vistas up there and the frontal. You can see how everything. This is how we need frontal vistas. We have not destroyed or damaged any of the mucosa around the front. And the surgery was done, frontal guys, the surgery was done with a zero degree scope along the front. 